Hi guys, I'm Tati, I'm an editor, and in today's video we're going to be talking all about Twixter. As you can see, I am not at my room. Um, I am at a hotel in Dubai. I've been traveling for the last two months. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, like all my other videos are pre-recorded. I think it's pretty obvious, but if it's not, I'm doing a good job. But if it is, oh well. I'm moving locations and I'm running out of pre-recorded videos, so I had to sit down and record some here. So yes, that is what today's video is about. I recently did an updated three-minute Twixter video and I asked you guys at the end if you guys wanted a more in-depth Twixter and you guys said yes. And I love doing these types of videos, so that's a good thing for me. So without further ado, before we get into the tutorial, we will roll the commercial and we have so much. Enjoy. Hello there. Like most editors, I have a pay hip. Now, granted, most of the things on my pay hip, I already have tutorials on my YouTube channel for. However, if you're lazy or just want to support me, I have a numerous amount of resources and presets on my pay hip. That includes my popular glitch style pack, my shake pack, and even colorings, plus more. If the prices are too much for you, you are not obligated to buy it. But if you do, thank you so much and enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial part. Let us get started. So um, about a month or two ago, I did a video on three minutes on how to do Twixter. And I said that if you guys wanted me to do an in-depth tutorial on Twixter that I would. So here we are. So firstly, we're gonna pick our frame rate. Um, 60 FPS is gonna give you the smoothest Twixter. 30 is pretty close, but I find that depending on the frame rate of your scene packs, 30 can kind of get you to run into some issues. 23.97 six that's just regular um, but 60 is going to be the smoothest and um not burn up your laptop completely if you have a good laptop our mascots are going to be from outer banks so with the twixter plugin when you download it you're going to get twixter twixter pro and twixter pro vectors in so usually we use twixter right now on occasion we will use twixter pro honestly the last time i used twixter pro was when i was trying to edit anime um i think certain settings with twixter pro is really helpful to you know anime um but typically if you're editing live action you're not going to need to use twixter pro and you don't really need to use it in general okay so we're going to add twixter and we're going to go through the important settings so the input frame rate of your Twixter needs to be the exact same as your clip. And if we go to these two arrows right here, we go to project, it's going to tell you exactly what the frame rate is. So you're just going to click the clip. It'll either tell you up here or you can go right here where the frame rate is and it'll tell you 23.976 clips plus 60 FPS composition is perfect. If your frame rate isn't 23.976 or even 24 FPS, you can get away with. If it's 30 FPS, if it's, you know, like 27 FPS, like it needs to be one of the two to match the 60 fps composition okay otherwise you're gonna have so much trouble so that's why it's really really important that you be careful which scene packs you use and which one you download you want to go for scene pack accounts on instagram that are more how do i say this that have been doing it for a really long time because those are the ones that typically know kind of the frame rate idea you don't want to like get new scene pack accounts things like that you don't want to get things off of youtube 23 point 976. What you'll see that we typically use is motion vectors. We keep it at best. You can change the image prep to this. I don't really know what it does. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't, I'm not, you know, I don't know it all, but I, I don't really think this does anything. Speed is what makes a Twixter go fast or slow. We'll come back to speed, of course. So we go to blend. The ones that we use, we never really use nearest, but we use between blend and motion weighted blend. And then we have smart blend. This is our clip with the Twixter off. Here it is with it on. It makes it pretty smooth, right? And let's just say we want to turn the motion sensitivity up to 100. It gets even smoother. When we're doing fast to slow, to fast again or fast to slow, whatever it is, okay, we always start with fast first. So I like to do between 200 and 300. We're gonna do 300 because I wanna show you a problem that I ran into and I didn't know how to fix. So 300, the stopwatch to keyframe. Then we go to the center of your clip and we do a very, very low number because that's what is gonna make it slow. So I want a 33% slow. And I'm gonna go to the end and we went to speed up again, 300. Here's what it looks like without a graph. Okay. Let's just do a graph. Um, usually the graph that I do, I'm not gonna explain what graphs are or what these sticks do. That's a whole different, you know, 
tutorial but i'm just gonna show you what i do for my graph i kind of just do it like this and adjust things as needed okay here it is with the same settings but i just switched the clip out let's just say that this is too slow for you you can change the 33 percent to 55 percent slow but I do like my middle of the clip to be very slow. So I'm gonna keep it at 33. So let's just say we move these top two sticks all the way down, what would happen? It would be even slower. So the higher they're kept, the less slow it's gonna be. Okay, so now I'm going to show you Smart Blend, what it would look like if we turned Smart Blend on. Basically the same, but I like to think that it gives me extra smoothness. Turn on Motion Weighted Blend. Again, not too big of an effect, but it is smooth. But I keep it on Blend and Smart Blend. And then I even have Motion Blur Compensation on too. And I like this. I'm happy with this. This is one of the pieces I have when I want my clips to be a bit more faster. Um, As you can see here, it goes black. When this happens, it means, I think it means that the speed and your clip length aren't the same so you may not have enough clip room to match the speed if it's at 300 that could potentially be too fast so let's just see what happens if i were to turn it down see it basically just went away so if you're someone who likes fast twixter fast clips try not to cut your twixter clip exactly on the beat leave a little bit of clip length after the beat happens and then later you can go and cut that out yeah. and i want to tell you i want to address why i have these keyframes um i just have had a lot of twixter presets in my life from other people i've seen other people do twixter and they would always keyframe like the frame rate or the motion sensitivity or even the smart blend i have that keyframe in my preset sometimes you'll see so i just match the same thing and does it make it smoother? Does it do anything? I'm not really sure. This is my in-depth tutorial of Twixter. I hope this helped anybody. Um, and you know. Welcome back. How was the tutorial? Glad to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully y'all know my socials by now. If not, it's in the description and I appreciate your support. Okay, love you.